and welcome to your F1 TV Tech Talk. And on this week's tech demo, Albert Fabrega, how are you? Fine. Uh, we're in Mexico and you've brought some wonderful things to look at well, because we're going to be focusing on the Coanda effect. Yes, uh, and it's, a, it's an effect, it's an aerodynamic physics actions that are still uh, very used for the teams when are designing and when getting, uh, trying to get advantage of the airflow on the car and trying to get that downforce to get uh, as uh, more efficiency as possible. So they're trying to get that old effects and old dynamics of the physics of the air to get the, more, uh, the quickest car possible. Well, absolutely fabulous. We're going to deep dive into the Coanda effect. But first things first, <laughs> have you brought your family album with you, Albert? <laughs> no, it's not, it's not. This guy is Henry Coanda, who's <gasps> giving name, the name to an airport in Bucharest because he's from Romania, or he was from Romania but it's also giving the name or naming an effect that has been used a lot of time and still using, uh, being used uh, for the Formula One aerodynamics departments uh, to speed up and to make a quick car as possible. And he was very ahead of his time because yes. this was back in sort of the early 1900s, 1910. Yeah, and more than 100 years ago. And working more in, in the sort of aircraft space, yeah. not of course in Formula One, we didn't have it those days, but of course, as you said before, it still had such a, an impact on an how impact. we go racing. Yeah, you remember the exhaust, the blow exhaust, where the effect, the Quanda effect had a big impact and we know about uh, that effect that was uh, used by the Formula One aerodynamicists. Well, big thanks to Henry Coanda, and because of him, that's what our tech demo yep. is about today. So, uh, tell me, what, what do we need to look at first yeah. when it comes to Coanda effect? First to know is that the effect, the Coanda effect is an action where the airflow tends to be attached and following the curvature of the solid where it's uh, touching. So, we can apply it to water, but we can apply it also to uh, another fluid like the air. Remember last weekend we were talking about the aqua planning? Yes. We were, super, we were putting air instead of water mm -hmm. to understand. So it's a fluid and some things, not all, not everything, are following the same physics. Fantastic, right. We go for it. Let's with do a real, it. Let's do it. Real sample. <laughs> well, Rosanna, I need your help because we're going to try to show how the flow, in this case water, is uh, following the curvature of a solid when it's touching. Okay. If we throw the cap of the bottle, if we throw it through this spoon, you remember this spoon in Bahrain? Yes, 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 so we've got a solid. So, yeah, if we throw it... And it bounces off. Yeah, the cap, it comes to me, because it's touching, it's going to me. But what happens if we throw water? Oh, it's coming back towards me. Yes. And it's following, it's sort of gripping or running along it's the curve of the It's going to that way, you see? If, if you put it even like that, it's, it's better to see. You look? Yeah. It's, it's coming to you. my ankles a little wet. Yeah. You want to see another example? But now let's get closer to the Formula 1 cars. Okay, out of the kitchen and out into of... the garage. Yes. Put my spoon let's walk back. With candle. It's a little bit windy. Today is not helping us, but it is. It's a little breezy here in Mexico. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That's a candle. Keep it safe. Out of the wind. Yes, out of the wind. Let's try it. Maybe we can go down a little bit. Yes, I'm gonna yep. crouch down. And I will try you. I will, as you require what am I you doing to, with yeah, this? to blow. If you can, just uh, try and blow the candle out. Yeah. <sighs> you can. You can. Anything? No. Oh. But what happened if we put? This oh, element, okay. that's a, curved, a surface. curved surface. Let's see if the air is following the surface of... Okay. And it's easy. You see? That's, First time. That's the physics. So that's because my breath, as I'm exhaling, yeah. it is and the airflow the is surface. following the surface and is achieving to blow out blow the out candle. Blow out the candle. But this is very nice with the candles and so on. But, but we don't want to... Jar, we don't want that. We want to take it up again. Yeah, let's move all that all that concepts to the Formula One cars. Okay, okay. Okay. Ready. One, two, two three. three. Woo! Okay, here it is. This is beautiful. Did you make this, Alba? <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit long to explain. Many here, many people is helping me to design it, then to build it uh, in rapid prototyping, and to paint it and make it nice and clean to simulate. 50% scale, always. Everything that I build is a 50% scale. As a 
proper McLaren sideboard. It is the Let's same, not the last one. We had no time to react, sorry, McLaren. <laughs> but it was the, the one that it was uh, shown uh, on the first part of the season. So, Fabulous, right, yeah. so let's get back to the Coander effect. Yes. I imagine this is a bit of a curved surface. Yes, and what the, tri uh, the teams are trying is to keep the airflow as attached as possible on the surface of the sideboard, of a wing, any single element of a car, the aerodynamics want the airflow to be attached on the top, on the sides, to send the airflow, whatever they think is uh, more profitable for the uh, performance of the car, so at the back on the top of the diffuser to the rear wing. So they want to wipe the air, giving a curved surface to every single part of the car. Right. Let's go for an example, another one? Yes, let's candles. do an experiment. After that, we will have to go to the church. <laughs> Four and candles, three candles. Yeah. Let's light it up. It's a little bit windy, so it doesn't help too much. OK, yeah, will it, will it. What are I going to do? Oh, you stay there for the wind. Yeah, yeah that's a good I'm point. I'm going to block it. I will blow. You remember the blower? I certainly that's do. That's efficiency. Yeah? That's efficiency. So I will blow air away of the side pot just uh, to see if I can just blow it off. Blow it out. Blow it out. Sorry. So it's not blowing out. No. Nope. So it means that the airflow. It's just going off just in going all directions off. away. It's falling yeah. its way. But what if we blow this air through? the surface of the sideboard. Will it go straight as here or will it follow the curve? Will it go following the surface of the sideboard? Let's put it just at Move the very... To here. Yep. Good idea. Okay. Right to the end. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. That's right. Yes. Straight Easy. away. Yes. Straight because away. Because it means that the airflow is keeping attached to the surface of this side but it happened the same thing if we blow it through the side so this is the one of the main targets of the aerodynamicist when they're designing a car and when they're trying to generate the maximum downforce and the maximum efficiency of the car i'm imagining all the engineers now with the, the leaf blowers and a candle just yeah. working out if they've got the optimum design right uh, or the optimum design of the of the side pod yeah Albert, thank you for another yeah. brilliant tech demo yeah. and for explaining how the Coanda effect works in yeah. Formula One. Uh, you know, it's the Dia de los Muertos here. I do, yeah. I do. So let's go. Yeah, we Off can we go. go. On our parade. Yeah. Goodbye. That's yeah. the end of the tech demo. Yeah. <laughs>